All right, welcome back everyone here at Fierce Network TV. I'm very excited to welcome to our studio today, KPN and Oracle to talk about what they're working on together. Gentlemen, thanks for taking the time. I'm sure it's a busy week, but we appreciate you coming over to visit us. Thank you, Andrew. Sure. Paul, shall we start with you? And, and maybe you can tell us a little bit about your, um, your strategy in terms of that network modernization and, and generating, I imagine, new revenue streams and, and, uh, and uh, opportunities for, for your operation. Yeah, so uh, thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. And at KPN, we are working on our connect, activate and grow strategy. And it means on one end, we are really investing heavily in our infrastructure to build out the best uh, mobile network uh, of the Netherlands and also build out the best fiber network to bring this digitalization to the Netherlands. But apart from that, uh, being having this, this great and these best networks of the Netherlands, we are truly working on the convergence of our services to make sure that we can monetize on these networks and really have the best customer experience in the Netherlands for our customers. Excellent. And, and Tony, I, I imagine Oracle there plays a pivotal role. So before we get into the partnership side of this, mm -hmm. I, I'd love to hear your side of the story in terms of how you fit into operators, in this case, KPN's journey in, in uh, uh, modernizing those systems. Yeah, I mean, from an Oracle perspective, you know, we're focused on effectively supporting that digital experience, that customer experience initiative, which, you know, powers a lot of the Paul's business, you know. I think from my perspective, an Oracle's perspective, we're focused on, you know, agility, acceleration and effect. So everything I do in, in kind of in my product domain is kind of focused on those three pillars, which support kind of that digital transformation initiative that Paul has. Mm -hmm. you know? And Paul, if we could speak more specifically then around what you're working on in that digital transformation of, of OSS, BSS, where are you in that journey and, and what's the goal that you're trying to, to get to? Yeah, sure. So. Uh, what you see today is, of course, that, that technology is, is, is developing really, really quickly. And the amount of uh, opportunities that are there, also with all the AI capabilities that are coming into applications, we are really uh, making the move forward to change our operations. So on the OSS side, we're making this, this, this huge step forward and we're planning to go through full autonomous operations of our networks and making it that way also the customer experience much better and on the other side also to bring down cost of the whole uh, operations chain. But apart from that, from, from, from running our uh, operational support systems to that level, we are also completely changing out the BSS environment because there we really need this convergence of our services towards our customers. And that is also where we work a lot together with Oracle to make it happen that really the mobile, uh, the fixed, the television, the OTT services all come together in a single digital journey for the customer. Brilliant, and, and Tony, I'd love to for you to build on that because yeah. you know you, you play an important role in making that a reality. Yeah, and I think how we approach you know the the, the requirements, if you like, or the the strategy of, of KPN and other CSPs is is based around what we call digital business experience, and you know that effectively brings in the BSS domain, the OSS domain, the customer experience domain, the digital channel, the digital enablement domain. And effectively, you know, from an Oracle perspective, we're trying to package that. You know, we want it to be decomposable, we want it to be flexible and agile, as I mentioned, but we're trying to kind of pre-integrate that and kind of provide more of a solution offering. Uh, I think the last thing is the whole area of autonomous operations is a big, big driver, you know, in the industry. And I think, you know, that's a journey. Um, we're trying to build out our kind of product pillars into kind of horizontal solutions to provide building blocks to, to Paul and, and other customers, you know, on that journey, so. Brilliant. Yeah. So I know you mentioned that journey. Let's think ahead then towards the next year or 18 months. I know sometimes in telecoms these, these time frames can vary a lot. But if we think ahead to next MWC, what would a successful uh, outcome be in terms of this modernization? And perhaps let's start with you, uh, Tony, and then we go specifically into KPN's case. Yeah, I mean, I, I think success, you know, there's obviously the digital transformation aspect, right? That, you know, there's many twists and turns in that journey. I'm sure yeah. Paul can acknowledge that, right? And I think, you know, what we try and do is offer our, our, our guidance, you know, based on our, our experience to Paul and KPN in terms of how to navigate that. I think in terms of success as well, I mean, I, I think we, 
you know, AI is a part of that, right? How does KPN navigate AI? How do they embrace AI? And kind of looking at, at Oracle again as a partner in that. Um, you know, and I think that would be a success, I guess, to maybe, you know, have elements of AI or agentic AI incorporated in Paul's strategy. I guess that would be a success in, in, in the future, you know, and, and what the business impacts that has uh, on Paul's business, you know. Okay. I fully realize it's a trick question. Success. <laughs> It moves forward as we progress, does, right? Yeah. Paul, to, to wrap up as well from your point. Yeah, so the, so the first thing is always from, from if I look, what would success look like in the coming year? It would really be, first of all, from customer perspective, if we really could make it uh, to, to enhance our digital journeys, make it them frictionless. Eh? Still, if you look to the full customer journey, there are still many hiccups uh, when, when trying to join or to do services with our company. So if we make a big step there and we make them more digital, uh, we can still have more people using a full digital journey actually in the in the telco industry that would be from the customer perspective we really be good steps forward and internally it's just more about making the first really big step in the conversions actually of our stacks on the revenue management side on the billing side really making sure that that we are starting to yeah, collapse and integrate and convergence of all these systems to one environment and then certainly as, as you said as well placing their agentic AI and placing more AI functions in there and making that way, yeah, creating the better operations towards the future. Brilliant. Well, gentlemen, again, thank you so much for sharing your story and what you're working on. It's been great to, to listen to it and I wish you a very successful week. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.